Welcome to Cricket Season. The Trevini Group presents Cricket Season in association with Dish Home. I'm Andrew Leonard, your host. I'm going to be with you not just for the next 15 days, building up to the biggest ever Everest Premier League. I'm going to be with you commentating on the tournament after that for 15 days more as well. And what a few weeks we have building up to the Everest Premier League. We've got the big names going to come in in studio. They're going to join me for a bit of a chat building up to the big event. We're going to look at all of the action on and off the field. Get me out into Kathmandu. I'm just off a plane. I'm delighted to be back in Nepal. The passion for the game here, it's second to none anywhere in the world. So really looking forward to each evening bringing you this for the first time ever in prime time for Nepal cricket. So it was a big day yesterday. The fixtures came out for the EPL 2020. And you can see it there, hashtag EPLT20. Remember to use that if you're on your Twitter or Instagram or wherever you're going around because we've got some big clashes to look forward to. It's all going to get underway on Saturday, the 14th of March. The Pakara Rhinos are going to take on the Lalapur Patriots. And of course, the thing that has set the Everest Premier League really abuzz, it's the universe boss. He's coming to town. He's coming to Kathmandu. It's the home of the Everest, Mount Everest, and the universe boss he belongs here. So we're going to see him on the opening day at two o'clock in the TU International Cricket Ground as the Bacara Rhinos. Remember, they finished bottom last year. They couldn't get it done, but they've got a much different squad, much different setup. Have they bought success this season? We'll probably find out on opening day. And what's going to happen then? We're going to go into the double headers through the 15th, 16th, 17th and 18th of March. A rest day on the 19th before Friday. That's going to be fantastic Friday. Can't wait for that one where the Baratnagar Warriors are going to play the Pakara Rhinos in the morning. There'll be 10 a.m. starts before we go to two o'clock starts where again the Lalapur Patriots will be playing the Barawa Gladiators in the afternoon. We'll enter the final few group games then. And remember, six franchise sides are playing it out for the EPL crown. Those six franchise sides need to finish in the top four to go on to the playoffs. And the playoffs are going to get going on the 24th of uh, the 24th of March, Tuesday, the 24th of March. That'll be the qualifier, the first one, first against second, before we move on to the following day, third against fourth. Now, if you finish first or second, it's a big advantage because you end up with two chances to go on to the EPL grand final. And then we'll have an eliminator as well, where the loser of that first qualifier will go on and play the winner of that eliminator match. So we'll wait and see who's gonna build up to the grand final which will be played on Saturday, March 28th. Every single match is going to be live, not just here in Nepal, but for the first time, telecast into India and maybe some more places right around the world. So the biggest ever season of the Everest Premier League we're in store for, and it's going to be the grand final on the 28th of March. I can't wait for that, but we've got so much to look forward to. And the reason we've got so much to look forward to, not just the local stars, but let's take a look at the overseas players. And we're going to start with the big man. He's up there on your screen, just to my left. Look at him, Chris Gale, the dreadlocks are flowing and the sixes are gonna be flowing at the TU International Cricket Ground. But the Bacara Rhinos, they've gone big with their signings because one of the most explosive openers in the world of associate cricket, George Mumsey, the left-hander, he hits with his left, he hits with his right. He can clear the ropes with reckless abandon. And then we're gonna see the celebrations of another West Indian, the flair, the signature notebook, of Keswick Williams. Three big signings for the Bacara Rhinos. Let's move on to the reigning champions, the Lalapur Patriots. Upal Tharanga, incredibly experienced Sri Lankan cricketer, left-handed opener, dynamic and dashing at the top. And to complement him, they've just announced just a couple of days ago, three Pakistani cricketers to come and join the Sri Lankan. That's Hamad Azam, Hassan Khan and Mir Hamza. Really good variation in that. Former Pakistan under 19 captain, of course, and plenty of good bowling as well. That's the reigning champions. Perhaps they're going to be favourites to back it up and go back to back at the Everest Premier League. Later on, we're going to be hearing from people associated with the Barawa Gladiators. They've had a big signing already. The big Barbadian, Dwayne Smith. We've got a real Caribbean flair this year to the Everest Premier League. Can't wait to see him in action. He smashes the ball absolutely everywhere at the top of the order. One of the best fielders you'll ever see as well. Flat throws from the deep, he'll catch you out. On to the Kings, the Kathmandu Kings 11. And who else could it be but my fellow Irishman? It's King Kevin O'Brien. The big redhead, he's back. 35 years of age, now into the veteran stage of his career. But he was a real crowd favourite last year. We loved having him here. And I know for a fact he's looking forward to coming back. Keeping the Irish theme, 
What about the Chitwan Tigers? They've re-signed Paul Sterling. There is not a more belligerent hitter of the cricket ball anywhere in the world than Paul Sterling. He is a rock star and he's going to open with another rock star. That's Mohamed Shazad at the top of the order, the Afghan keeper batsman. You'll see his celebrations. He'll get the arms outstretched and you see them up on your screen there as well. Final side, they haven't announced anyone yet. And we're going to have to wait to see who the Baratnagar Warriors have up their sleeves. They'll probably have a big name or two. Plenty of big names are going to bring plenty of big action to this season's 2020 Everest Premier League. We're going to be building up every ball here. Treveni Group presents Cricket Season with me, Andrew Leonard, in association with Dish Home. ढोकला भाग लिने अवसर प्राप्त करी हप्ता में दुई जना भाग्यशाली ग्राहक जितने हूने प्रति व्यक्ति रूप एक लाख नगद उपहार डिश होम खुशी ऑन कर Welcome back. It's Trevini Group presents Cricket Season in association with Dish Home. I'm your host, Andrew Leonard. And I'm not going to be the only regular contributor to this show because every day we're going to be bringing you a local Nepali star. Not someone I know a huge about, amount about coming from Ireland, but Pewan Kali is her name. I hear she's absolutely hilarious. She's going to be out and about on the streets of Kathmandu and all across Nepal, particularly here in Kathmandu. So let's go and have a look at Crazy on the Streets with Pewan Kali. खिलाड़ी 
लौलत खुशी कुरा हो हो नपत्या तपाई हो ए हे त्यसो भए त ल ल ल ल त्यसो भए सँगै जानु होला तपाईलाई थाहा छ एभरेस्ट किन जान लागि म थाहा छैन थाहा छैन जे भाइ ईपीएल हुन्न उनलाई इच्छा गरे ए म ईपीएल छैन भनेपछि त यहाँ कृतिपुर जान लागि मारे छ कति थाहा पाउनु भएको ईपीएल भने के हो त लु भन्दिन हेर्नु हुन्छ मज्जाले उही गरे हेर्ने हो उही गरे हेर्नु हुन्छ अनि क्रिस गेल सँग म त ट्रेकिङ हिन्न लाइक छु के रे क्रिस गेल आउन कोइले कोइले आज चाहिँ ये बा चिन्नु हुन्छ क्रिस गेल को त पहिला सँगै क्रिकेट खेल्य जे अलि भन्न मिलेन अब गर हेर्ने चाहिँ हो के हामी ये बा अनि क्रिस गेल मात्र मन पराउनु हुन्छ कि अरु खेलाडी नि अरु पनि मन पराउँछ को मन पर्छ त नेपालबाट सन्दीप लामी छ नेपाल रसखनका किन मन परेको त यतिकै ये अनि तपाईलाई क्रिकेट हेर्न कसले सिकाइदे हो मलाई त मेरो साथीले अब यहाँ एभरेस्ट प्रिमियम लिग हुन लाछ हैन दैट इज गुड फर द कन्ट्री अनि कति गो हेर्नु हुन्छ क्रिकेट आई वाच एभ्री वीक एभ्री वीक हेर्नु हुन्छ अनि कुन खेलाडी मन पर्छ क्रिस गेल चिन्नु हुन्छ क्रिस गेल या वेरी गुड प्लेयर क्रिस गेल चिन्नु हुन्छ हाम्रो पारस खड्का गुड ए बा म क्रिस गेल पारस खड्का दुबैलाई लिएर एभ्रेस्ट जान लागि किम के रे ए ल ल ओके एन्जॉय तपाईं नि आउनु हुन्छ जेवा अलि थकाइ लाग्छ छ अनि बसेर गफर्न लाग्छ छु सन्चै हुनु हुन्छ सन्चै छु के गर्दै हुनुहुन्छ व्यापार कस्तो छ त ठिकै छ म त इ अब इने ट्रेकिङ एभ्रेस्ट ठिकै छ ठिकै छ ये बा अनि तपाईं नजानी मसँग एभ्रे लानु भएन जान्छु नि हो पनि ये लोइ हालछु के रे ईपीएल बुझ्नु हुन्छ के हो त ईपीएल भनेको क्रिकेटको गेम हो क्रिकेटको गेम हो अनि यहाँ आउन लाइक चाहिँ थाहा पाउनु भएको छ त्यो चाहिँ थाहा भएन एभरेस्ट प्रिमियम लिग हो के रे सुनेको छैन त्यो चाहिँ अनि त्यहाँ तपाईले ज्ञानेन्द्र मल्ल चिन्नुहुन्छ सुनेको छु को के रे मेरो फुपाको छोरो होला नि अब ये बा का आउनी हो को होला त ज्ञानेन्द्र हजुर क्रिकेट खेल्न आउनु हो अ अनि वहासँग जादै छु म त ट्रेकिङ हुन्छ रमाइलो रामसिर जानु अनि क्रिस गेल चिन्नुहुन्छ क्रिस गेल नि जादै हुनुहुन्छ सँगै जे बा साच्चीकै गा ट्रेकिङ जानु हुन्छ त म कहाँ जानु हुन्छ ये म त क्रिकेट अब हेर्नु है त ईपीएल हुन्छ हेर्नु हुन्छ ए अब यहाँ मसँग अक्सिजन छ हैन ई अक्सिजन लिएर आछु न पत्या भए अलि कति अक्सिजन लिनु फ्रेश हुनु फ्रेश भइन्छ का फ्रेश भइसक्यो त हुन्छ हेर्नु बस अब दिन भरी घुम्दा घुम्दा साँझ पर्न लागिसक्यो होइन अब घर जानु पर्छ जान्छु है नमस्ते बाई बाई <laughs> that's Pau and Cali out and about, and that's why it's crazy on the streets with Pau and Cali. I'm not going to lie, I didn't understand every word of that, but I got a little bit of a gist as to what was going on, and certainly entertaining people. Lots of mentions for Chris Gale. I heard the name of Sandy Flamachani, Paris Kadka. No King Kevin O'Brien in there. I wonder why that was. So it's the biggest ever year of the Everest Premier League. Use the hashtag EPLT20 or use Cricket Season hashtag Cricket Season and send us in a question. We're going to be answering the very in most interesting questions that you send us over the next couple of days, every time. So just get onto your social media right now. Get the phone out onto Twitter, onto Instagram. Use the hashtag Cricket Season or EPLT20. If you have a question for me or for any of our guests in the studio, we'll answer it on tomorrow's show. We're going to be back with you with the big interview after this break. अधिकार हो शुद्ध स्वस्थ र सुरक्षित भोजन पाक्ष अमृत को सूर्यमुखी तोरी र सोयाबीन तेलहरूले को विश्वास सीखना सफल नेपाल गुणस्तर चिन्ह प्राप्त अमृत ऑयल त्रिवेणी ग्रुप को उत्कृष्ट उत्पादन स्वस्थ जीवन स्वच्छ अमृत
आज तपहरको सपना साच्चै पूरा भयो हो छोरी अब हाम्रो सपना पूरा भयो उच्च सोचको निर्माण सगरमाथा सिमेन्ट जुनी जुनीलाई पञ्चबुटीहरुको समिश्रणले बन्छ ढोकला मसाला चिया पञ्चबुटीको जादु ढोकला मसाला चिया Yeah, welcome back to Trevini Group Presents Cricket Season in association with Dish Home. And it's time for the first big interview. Such a big interview. We've got not just one guest, but we've got two. So I'm joined now by the owner, the co-owner of the Bairoa Gladiators, Mr. Saki Sanghoi. And of course, the captain, one of Nepal's finest, Mr. Sherrod Vasakar. You're both very welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you for you. coming Thank to join us. Sakit, runners up for the last two seasons of the Everest Premier League. Yep. What are the aims for this year? So we obviously want to win the title this year. Like we've got, I, we've got eyes on the trophy this year for sure. And I hope, I, I hope, I really hope our team can get it to us. You know, Sharad, you're the captain who's going to be tasked with bringing that title to the owners. Uh, yeah, Do you feel course. a bit of pressure? Uh, I mean, like as a cricketer, I mean as a sportsman, every game you play, you want to win it, right? So, yes, that's there. But then I would like the boys to, you know, really uh, enjoy the game and, you know, like. Uh, whether we lose or win, but we need to be happy playing the game and enjoy each other's company. That's important. It's a very talented squad that you have. We're going to talk about overseas players in a little bit, but some of the local stars. Tell us about some of the names in this squad, this Barawa Gladiators team. Uh, I think we are very blessed and very lucky to have uh, five of the national players in our squad among the 10 guys uh, of the local players. So like Arif is there in the national team, Avinash is there, Bhuvan Karki is there. Uh, Rohit Podal is there and Kusal Malla, of course, the rising star. Yeah, so 4th of March, Sakit, huge yep. date. Uh, explain to us why that's such a big date and what the Barawa Gladiators are doing. Yep, so basically EPL, we believe, is a platform for the young Nepalese players. So we are organizing a talent hunt where we'll be conducting a normal uh, hunt for the local Nepalese players. So we'll be hosting our talent hunt in Bairwa. So last year, we obviously got Kushal from the talent hunt and now he's a you know, a global superstar, so. Kushal Mala, 15 years of age, he was discovered last year at 14, now the owner of the record, the fastest ever ODI half century, breaking Sachin Tendulkar, knocking him off the mantle. Absolutely, I mean, like, also, I think I should thank the uh, owners here, because uh, they had trust in us to pick him, and, like, we got him in the squad. I think no other team had played a talent run guy in the playing 11, but we did it, and it came off, you know. Sakit, you're the co-owner with your brother Aditya, yep. but you're very hands-on in your role. You love your cricket, to say the least. Yep, I am, I'm a really passionate sports person, you know, like uh, I've been watching cricket since I was a young boy. And uh, usually I was on the other side of the screen, <laughs> but today I'm <laughs> sitting here, you know, so it's a, uh, it's a big deal. But uh, I'm really passionate about sports and like I live for sports, you know, I'm really excited for this. Sherrod, the Everest Premier League, right. why is it so important and why is it going to be the biggest ever in 2020? I mean, like the names coming in, you know, it, it speaks itself, you know, Kira Scale and other guys coming in, it's, it's really going to be very big this year. Tell us about these overseas players. Dwayne Smith is definitely coming yep. from the Barawa Gladiators. Yep. Are you going to give us an exclusive, maybe give us <laughs> one or two of the other ones? So I would love to give you an exclusive, uh, but uh, we are going to release our three foreign players next week. We have a big uh, press conference coming up with our coach, Pabudu Dasanayake. So you got to wait for it. <laughs> okay, so no first exclusive on this first episode of Cricket Season. We'll have to maybe yeah. wait for episode two. You mentioned the head coach, Pabudu Dasanayake. I call him the associate maestro. Absolutely. Did an unbelievable job with Nepal and then the United States. Tell us about Pabudu. Uh, we are just waiting for him, you know, like very eager like to get him back and uh, uh, all the boys are very excited. Uh, of course, like uh, his record as a coach speaks itself like for Nepal and for USA and other teams, whichever he has coached like Canada. So all the teams have reached the World Cup and like recently uh, USA also got ODI status under him. What is it that makes Pabudu such a special man? The players seem to absolutely <coughs> adore him. I mean, uh, 
if you ask me, I mean, he's a very uh, humble and a very simple human being, and uh, it's very easy to communicate with him. Whatever cricket knowledge we talk uh, within the team, you know, it's very. Uh, he's a very accessible guy. You know, anyone can go and approach him. Uh, not only cricket-related things, but outside cricket also. Uh, he's always ready to help uh, the players. Sakic, you must have been delighted to capture Pabudu as your head coach. He's a bit of an icon yep. amongst Nepali cricket fans. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, Pabudu already has a great relationship with the Nepalese cricket team and with our captain as well, you know. So we thought uh, they would uh, have a great chemistry together. And uh, he's obviously a role model to several people in Nepal. So we can probably, we hope to capture a lot of fans from him also, you know. So Dwayne's Not to forget, like... He's the guy who picked up Sandeep Lamichane from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we are hoping he'll get the next star for Nepal as well. Yeah, and who'd bet against that happening on March 4th, the Barawa Gladiators talent hunt. Before we let you guys go, just tell us a little bit more about the year 2020 here in Nepal. There's a big tourism campaign. The Everest Premier League is a big part of that, and it's great for the country. Yep, so obviously this year there's a hashtag that's been trending, Visit <coughs> Nepal 2020. So Everest Premier League obviously provides a great opportunity for that. You know, we'll have a lot of visitors coming in. And um, Everest Premier League is basically a, like a phenomenal platform for uh, domestic players also, you know. Uh, you can really showcase the country and uh, what it means to the people. So we're really happy about this. And also the timing of the tournament is perfect, I guess, because it's, it's a time where people come from outside for trekking and stuff like that. So I guess many people from maybe UK, India who love cricket might come and watch in the grounds as well. Are you expecting big crowds again at the TU Absolutely, International Cricket Absolutely, maybe much bigger, <laughs> much bigger than last time. <laughs> That's both the uh, captain of the Barawar Gladiators and the co-owner, Mr. Sanghai, er, er, Mr. Sakit Sanghai. We're being delighted to be joined by Sharad and Sakit, and we'll see you after these messages. Chalina Dish home, Kushi on Garao. Yeah, welcome back for the final section of the show now and incredibly interesting to hear the thoughts of particularly Sharad Vizakar, the Barawa Gladiators captain, talking about Pabudu Dasanayake and what an impact 
he's going to have coming into the EPL this year. But I think we've had enough talk in the studio. Time to get some action onto the screen. So the Barrowa Gladiators, they pulled off a record-breaking chase in last, the last competition of the Everest Premier League. Let's take a look at what was the most remarkable chase as they chased down a record total against the Bacara Rhinos. What a chase that was from the Barrowa Gladiators. I was there that day commentating. At the halfway stage, I gave them no chance. 216 they needed, but the amazing innings from Ravi Indra Singh and the balls flying out of the park at the TU International Cricket Ground pulled off history. And we're going to see more of that this year, the 2020 Everest Premier League. Before we let you go, we've got a competition time. It's crazy about cricket. Every day we're going to be giving away big prizes for the Everest Premier League, including tickets, to every game and the grand final itself. You could be the lucky winner. All you've got to do to enter and answer this really simple question is name us just one of the overseas players who's playing in this year's Everest Premier League. Any one of them. I can't give you an extra hint now. Surely if you're watching the show, you're going to be able to do that. Use the hashtag EPLT20 or the hashtag cricket season and make sure to tag in our official account from the Everest Premier League. You'll be entered then. So that's it for the first episode of Trevini Group presents Cricket Season in association with Dish Home. I'm Andrew Leonard. I'll be back with you the same time tomorrow, 6.30 p.m.